If you dream that you're, a ch uh, you're um, taking care of a child, let's say you dream that uh, a, a woman dreams of a small boy and she's taking care of a small boy, it means that her husband is helpless like a boy, like a new boy and she's helping him. So if you dream that you are a baby, it means that you will be helpless in your situation. Because a baby cannot help themselves. So, so it symbolizes that you are in a situation where you can't help, you, you, you feel helpless. So here it is when, when somebody has been a younger sister, it means that you feel that you are not um, um, able to help the situation where you are, or something like that, or you're getting unfair um, treatment or something like that. Oh, in general, not in general. To do with the Nothing to do with the sister itself. Okay. Okay, so, um, so as you can see, dreams can be used in a very good way to, to understand your life, how it's going. And the whole purpose of dream is to warn, is usually warning, right, that something is wrong. But it's the same thing in what you call omens also. In, in omens, which is omens mean signs, right, um, it means that something is wrong. And um, omens are very important. I, I, when I was young, uh, I used to live in uh, South America. The, um, every time this lady got pregnant, there would be a bird coming to sing. And it, it's not a regular singing. It's, it comes at exactly 4 o'clock in the morning. And it's announcing, we, we, didn't even, we didn't even know that my neighbor was pregnant. It's when the bird started saying, then we know it. Because a special bird that makes a special sound. So it visits the house of the pregnant woman and, at 4 o'clock in the morning. And, it, and, it, and it gives out a special sound. And it tells that the person is pregnant. So we used to call, call the, the bird a belly, a belly mama bird. It means when she's pregnant, this bird will visit the house. It's amazing. So what does that tell us? It tells us that nature is in harmony with us, or we are in harmony with nature. Right? It means that we don't realize, we always think that, okay, I'm Angela, and I, I know nothing else exists but Angela. Or I'm Martha, and I'm nothing, nothing, nothing else exists but me. Right? Or I'm Tommy. Nothing else exists but me. That's the mistake. Don't make that mistake of thinking that you exist by yourself. Everything around you is in harmony with you. That's why I'm talking about signs and omens today. Because the signs and omens also can be predicted by your um, life code and so on. Your life code number. In a dream, or you, or you feel like you're falling. Okay, when you're falling in your dream, you jump, right? Yeah. It means that your body and your soul is not in tune. It means you're eating something or drinking something that's not agreeing with your with your spirit or your body. So falling dreams, when you jump and you fall, it means your chakras are not aligned. So you feel like you're falling. Right? A lot of that happens to people who were, uh, who experienced abuse and so on. Because their, their, their body, their, their body is offline. So that means that, you, you know, what you eat is not agreeing with what you are supposed to eat and so on. So these are very important signs that help us to, um, to, to, to know about life. Right? Now, uh, there are signs on your body, for example, you can feel something, certain thing. You walk into a room and there's a headache. Okay, Steve, come. No, no, come on. We, we, we give you an extra hour today. <laughs> oh, okay. So we have to pray for him. So now, 
it's very important that when you walk into a room, you get a headache. That doesn't mean uh, you have a headache. It means that your body now is reacting to some kind of energy in that room that's not right. Right? So do you walk out slowly? Well, uh, walk out and check to see if it goes away. Right? Uh, don't run to take a time now. Kali Durgina Manama. Kali Durgina Manama or you, you know. So the sign that, that walk into that room, headache. Of course, there are other things that cause, head, cause headaches. Uh, for example, if you have a severe headache, it could be that you didn't eat in time. But the air will form the headache. The air will create the headache. So just go eat something or drink something and see if the headache goes away. The headache is not always a medical thing. It's God's way of notifying you that something is wrong. For example, if someone comes into my office and they're possessed, I get a headache. And right away I know that they are possessed. So I'll take them into the room. And what are they possessed with? They're possessed with some kind of evil energy or negative energies. I will know right away. Right? Right? And there are different signs. You should always know these signs. Knowledge is the key to everything. And if you learn these signs, right, you will be able to sort of predict things ahead of time and know ahead of time. That, uh, that you, that's why when a woman gets pregnant, she gets a sign. What's the first sign? Vomiting. <laughs> Nausea. Nausea. Yeah. Nausea. Yes. Okay. So, so a big. You know, throw up. Or. You get. You don't get your period. Yes. No, but nausea is the one that kicks it. Headaches. Okay. <laughs> Most of the time, it's, it's stomach problems. Oh yeah. Yes, nausea and so on. But there's a reason, and then, and then she writes me, she says, you know, and in, in India, because they were all so old fashioned, um, people don't usually tell people when they're pregnant. So they see the daughter in law starts to feel bad, and she starts to throw up, and the mother in law runs to the father in law and says, Guess what? She's pregnant. You know? Okay, so, so that's how they know. You know, and then right away she goes and buys a bag of mangoes. Yep. In India, as soon as you get pregnant, or they know you're pregnant, they give you mangoes. Hi. And the reason why they give you the mangoes is because mangoes actually help to develop the baby uh, more healthier, and mangoes keep the woman in, intact. Uh, mangoes so is also the healer of the pregnant woman. When I give you the Kundalini powder here, for the chakras, it has mangoes in it. Right, there's mango powder in it. Yes, that's why his. That's why his skin is so good. Yes. But what happened is that um, mangoes burn the womb right away. As soon as, they, as soon as they see the mother-in-law, sees the daughter, the daughter-in-law um, throwing up, and she runs to the market, buy the mangoes, and give her the mangoes because it c controls the womb and it makes the womb better and healthier and makes the kid. Come but is a mango supposed to be ripe or, or? Uh, usually it's green mangoes. Green mangoes? The sour mangoes, yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's more effective. A lot of people eat right here with salt and pepper. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, when you get pregnant, we'll get you green mangoes. They'll be in a year or two. Okay, so get your mangoes prepared. Okay, so now, the whole idea is, is that um, the signs of the universe tells us that something is about to happen. And most of all, you need it uh, more than ever because it was the sign of the star that brought the wise men from the East to Christ. Mm -hmm. So we, we as, uh, as people now in this America have lost our ability to notice the signs. There are nice signs around us that warn us of things, right? And so, um, uh, when you when you have when you see the sign you recognize it, then you're able to choose the right way, right path. Here again, when, when Bush was selected, nobody recognized the sign. I recognize the sign. I don't remember all the cabinet that he chose was all war people. Did you notice know that? All what? Like every person he's choose, the defense minister, the defense guy. Um, 
uh, the, 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 the Rumsfeld and the advisors and so on, they were all war people. So we know that that's, that was a great sign. We know that we were going to go to war, right? And so it's the same thing. When the Jews had the choice, they could have chosen Christ, but they said no. And Pontius Pilate says, who do you choose for me to release? Christ, the king of the Jews, or Barabbas, the criminal? They choose Barabbas. And so that whole nation was, 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 was almost wiped out of the earth by a criminal, Hitler. So, the, look, look, at, look at how we, we choose the wrong things. So, my point today is we should choose the right choice all the time. How do you know when to choose the right choice? Right thing. Right? And that is where the knowledge comes in. The knowledge of yourself, knowledge of life, life what helps you. But besides that, any knowledge, lots of knowledge, you know, will help you. You know, so when the star comes into your life to give you a message, you should be able to recognize it. Right? And how do you recognize that? Let's go now, I, I am a person, I use this sign a lot. Uh, you don't know this, I'm telling you all today. I've been watching all of you. So I use signs a lot. Um, and I've discovered these signs are very scientific and they're very, very um, solid. In other words, um, in my work, I've noticed that if someone comes to me and they're wearing black for the first time, I already judge that they may have back pain. Right? So that's the sign right here. That I'm going to have to be dealing with this person. She's, very, she's having black pain. Why? Because the, 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 the black clothes that she wears will affect her chakras, will affect her kundalini, affect everything. So right away, you can tell that the person also has money problems because obviously, if the kundalini, the chakra is not working right, the person is not making good judgment. So that means that the person is not going to do well with money. So these are basic things that we need to learn, right? Um, usually, if the person has dark rings around their eyes, that means that they have not been sleeping properly. So again, that messes up your life. So these are these different signs of the body that you can really work with already, you know, that can tell you certain things about the um, the person that you're you're, you're talking to.